Where on earth do four great civilizations meet over 3,000 years of unbroken history? Where on earth will you find layers upon layers of vibrant cultures still alive and throbbing to the heartbeat of rhythms, ancient and modern? Where on earth can you touch 3rd millennium BC, 10th century AD, 16th century AD and the ultimate in postmodern ethos all in a single day? Where on earth will you find Buddhism at its most pure? Christianity at its most compassionate? Hinduism at its most refined? And Islam at its most cultured? All in one place? Welcome to Andhra Pradesh, located in the southeast part of India. Welcome to a land of friendly people who are among the most tolerant, most peaceful cultures on earth. Andhra Pradesh, now emerging as a postmodern state with millions of English speaking citizens, a state overflowing with abundance and prosperity. The capital city, Hyderabad, with a sparkling new international airport soon to be commissioned now emerging as the information technology capital of India, where hundreds of the world's top corporations have found a new home. Hyderabad now also the leader for its unmatched convention facilities, with world-class convention centers which can house 8,000 people under one roof, with every conceivable luxury and convenience. Yes, Hyderabad is fast becoming the most sought-after destination for international conventions and corporate get-togethers. Not just because of its growing reputation as the host to the world with the finest hotels and resorts. So if you get busy in that meeting or convention at one of the world-class centers, your spouse can keep herself busy doing so many things. She can, for instance, start a brand new day with a trip to Charminar, a 16th century monument with a renowned bangle market, where fabulous bangles can be got at unbelievable prices. She can take in the ancient medieval part of the city on a camel and relive the experience of those good old days. She can visit an authentic handicrafts village where artisans from far and wide sell their handmade artifacts. She can have her hands painted in unique designs, a special art called Mehendi. So much in vogue these days. She can make a quick trip to Nagarjun Sagar, a massively beautiful inland lake with Mediterranean blue water and ride on a boat to an island of rare charm and antique value with priceless Buddhist artifacts from the 3rd century BC. Cast under a spell, she can discover herself, quietly meditating by a magnificent statue of Buddha. Oh, what beauty and fun on the trip back, as the evening sun sweeps you off and takes your breath away. The night is for an elegant chalky dinner with spouse and friends set amidst a 16th century Islamic monument for lovers, where tales are told of the king who would come and listen to his beloved sing. You could then slip gears and move into the depths of Hindu culture, watch an amazing performance of classical Indian dance. Then visit the Oso British Club in the 19th century English settlement of Secunderabad, the watering hole of English officers of bygone days. A late night supper listening to Urdu poetry, as sung in the Ghazal's time, a smooth blend of Indian and Persian culture. And if you do all this, 
he would still not have done much. For Hyderabad and Andhra Pradesh have so much more to offer. On a free day, for instance, you could visit the famous Sarajung Museum. We're surprised. They have, among a million other things, paintings by the most famous European painters. You could gaze and gaze at Alencia, and suddenly caught unawares, watching a priceless Italian masterpiece. Or R.A. Stone's immortal love's idol, Cupid could come creeping and shoot a flower arrow into your hearts. Another free day and you could visit Vizag on the sea coast, chill on the beaches, or move into the mountains to watch natural spots like the Burra Caves, or spend a night in a jungle lodge. Andhra Pradesh, with its variety and stunning beauty, will always keep you spellbound. Come to Andhra Pradesh, the land of unending discoveries.